Normal approximation to Poisson distribution Suppose that we have a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda. If lambda is greater than 20, then the Poisson distribution can be approximated to normal distribution with mean equals to lambda and variance equals to lambda. Now, Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution whereas normal distribution is a continuous distribution. It is important to note that changing discrete distribution to continuous distribution requires continuity correction factor. Let's look at an example. The average number of calls received by a hotel receptionist is 6 per hour. Find the probability of receiving A. Less than 17 calls in 4 hours and B. More than 31 calls in 6 hours. To solve this problem, first take out the lambda value from the question. And then define a variable x as the variable of interest which is number of calls received. In question A, the interval has been changed to 4 hours. For 4 hours interval, lambda is equal to 24. Note that now we have a Poisson distribution with lambda greater than 20. Thus, this Poisson distribution can be approximated to normal distribution with mean equals to 24 and variance equals to 24. Since variance is equals to 24, standard deviation is equals to 4.899. Probability of receiving less than 17 calls in 4 hours is probability of x less than 17. Because we have changed the Poisson distribution to normal distribution, we must apply continuity correction factor to the probability that we want to find. The probability that we want to find now becomes probability of x less than 16.5. To find probability of x less than 16.5, first change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. Here we get probability of x less than 16.5 equals to probability of z less than negative 1.53. After that, draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot negative 1.53 on the graph, draw a vertical line like this, and shape the region of probability that we want to find. The region of probability depends on the inequality sign. Because we want to find probability of z less than negative 1.53, the region would be to the left of negative 1.53. To find probability of z less than negative 1.53, change the probability to probability of z greater than positive 1.53 and read the probability from the table. In question B, the interval has been changed to 6 hours. For 6 hours interval, lambda is equal to 36. Note that now we have a Poisson distribution with lambda greater than 20. Thus, this Poisson distribution can be approximated to normal distribution with mean equals to 36 and variance equals to 36. Since variance is equal to 36, standard deviation is equal to 6. Probability of receiving more than 31 calls in 6 hours is probability of x greater than 31. Because we have changed the Poisson distribution to normal distribution, we must apply continuity correction factor to the probability that we want to find. The probability that we want to find now becomes probability of x greater than 31.5. To find probability of x greater than 31.5, first change normal distribution to standard normal distribution by using formula x minus mu over sigma. 
Here we get probability of x greater than 31.5 equals to probability of z greater than negative 0.75. After that, draw a bell-shaped graph with 0 at the center. Plot negative 0.75 on the graph, draw a vertical line like this, and shade the region of probability that we want to find. The region of probability depends on the inequality sign. Because we want to find probability of z greater than negative 0.75, the region would be to the right of negative 0.75. To find probability of z greater than negative 0.75, change the probability to probability of z less than positive 0.75 and take 1 minus probability of z greater than positive 0.75. Read probability of z greater than 0.75 from the table and calculate the probability.